It's me, Mario! Okey-dokey! 6th of December, 2021. Uh, gonna adjust that a little bit more. Trying to get my, uh, trying to get a better feel of this. So I adjusted my microphone a little bit to see if I can put myself a little bit closer to it. And be a little bit out of the way of the uh, screen I'm just viewing. <clears throat> so, this is the uh, first... Wow, uh, this is a week where I don't have any sort of classes. I've... Everything's set up for... Everything's been set up for, uh, January. Where do we go now? Rainbow Ride, Tick Tock Clock. Yep. You know, let's see. Let's see if we can get ourselves the 100 coins on Tick Tock Clock. This might be a little bit difficult. Time jumps on moving bars. As much as I want to stop time for red coins, I do need it moving. Let's see what happens, though. Uh, can I have you explode on me? Whoa, they exploded at the same time. Let's see if I can't get a lot of coins. I've already gotten one. Now it's time for me to see if I can't go on top of here. But yes. A day where I do not have to study! Well, maybe I could be studying something else, but still! It's rather interesting. Having to deal with uh, just work and no studying. I... I had finished what I needed to do for the day. Oh crap! I don't want to fall again. I don't want to fall again! I don't want to get hit by that, that's for sure. So the only thing I had to do was just to keep mind of, uh, <clears throat> just inquiries and uh, any questions regarding any bills and invoices that we sent out to people. And so far it's been relatively easy. It also gave me a little bit more time to think about writing. Even if National Over Writing Month's over, I still have, I still have a novel and some other content that I'd like to get I like to get out. And it's pretty fun. It passes the time. Don't want to get grabbed by you. Okay, that's 20. That's 33. We still need to get the coins that are over there. <laughs> it's also a nice way to get back into d and I, uh... One of the stories I was writing... Well, it's, a. Uh, I guess it's more of an origin story. I mean, I had this person given a uh, given a parcel, and that parcel contained a letter which involved directions going to a subway. And in that subway, well, before while he was in that subway. He gets jumped by uh, two random thugs, and, I tr <laughs> and I'm trying to see if I can uh, practice how to write fighting choreography. Let's get this lucky to camera on. And so he manages to, uh, he doesn't defeat them, he just manages to get them out of the train as he continues, why am I going here? Come on, come on. Jump right here. No, 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 no. So he fights up those guys and manages to get out of the... and manages to get out. Get out of the subway train to a specific stop. Based on, uh... Let's see, what other items do you find in that parcel? He also found a letter and some beads on a uh, crochet needle that were uh, in the order of blue, blue, orange, red, red, purple. In relationship to the subway! In relationship to the subway, those are actually the, uh, the lines, the color of the uh, subway lines. But there's no purple on there. So it took... So it took a character, a map, 
of the subway to find out that there has to be a way, there has to be a spot on the subway line that has the red and blue lines connect together. And so he finds that spot, and it turns out it is the last stop for the day. So he's practically stranded. He finds that spot and inserts the crocheting needle with the beads. And it leads him to an area beneath the subway. And after he enters into that subway, into that lower area of the subway... Ooh. No. I don't want that trouble again. I'm gonna get more coins. Not this again. It's really dusty. The uh, underneath of the subway, it is really, really dusty. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. We gotta get those red coins now. Maybe I don't. Let's get lucky. One coin! Oh, this is gonna be bad. Uh-oh, this is bad. Where the heck am I gonna get one coin? Oh, I think I know where. It'll involve us having to go down, though. Uh... Maybe not the way that I expected. Okay, let's do this. Well, wow, thanks. We gotta go downstairs and get to those coins at the bottom. First, we gotta heal ourselves. But he finds his way, oh my gosh, that was close. But he finds his way into the subway and he, go, and he goes to a room located in that subway, which has a blind person and a and a person working on a, uh, a needle and thread loom. I, I don't want to do that. I want to go to the bottom of this. Man, this is already so difficult just getting down here. Okay. Let's be careful, Mario. Don't jerk out on me, camera, please. Yes. He tries to go. And so he tries to go in that room. And then he's immediately uh, whisked out by a broom, by by the uh, blind guy. All right, this is good. Uh oh, come on! I'm getting better at this. I just need to get lucky. Oh my gosh, this is great! Here we go. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I did that! Holy crap! But I guess we can stop right here. Let's... Let's actually talk a little bit more about the story I was writing. And I'll probably mute it right here while I'm having Mario walk around. So he enters into that area, that uh, room, and he's whisked out by the blind guy with a broom. Get out, get out, get out, get out. And then, it turns out that there is a phonograph located in front of the door. And so with intuition, he decides to knock. In the phonograph, at least the, uh, the, the volume part, where it is password. There's a pass- it's like, password? He says the password, which is the uh, colors of the beads. He's let in. And the guy, who was blind, was a lot more receptive to what he's doing, and has him sit down in a- in a couch. The main character, he finds... 
He finds a spot that's not filled with crochet needles. And he waits there. The blind guy gets a feel out of his face. And just feels his face because he can't, he's blind, he can't see. And he asks him, what is his number? The number the guy gives him is 071717. The blind guy talks to the guy in the loom, saying, You 071717. And the guy in the loom is furiously knitting. And meanwhile, the blind guy is going out into a different room. The guy in the loom, after he's furiously knitting, finishes off his work by giving the main character a mask and two handkerchiefs. He requests that the main character at least clean his nose because the basement area is very dusty and he's been breathing in that dust. <laughs> he learns that because he, after he cleans his uh, nose. And the guy with the blind, uh, the guy that's blind, returns and gives the main character a backpack and tells him to take a weapon. So he takes a sword. And that's pretty much half of what I've been able to complete so far. And I want to apply this to some sort of lore if I do get this character off the ground, like maybe a VTuber or livestream thing. I think it would make for some good interesting storytelling, at least for both experience on my part and getting to interact with the crowd. Because I've only got seven stars. And I'm only doing this I'm only doing this audio diary for fun, but maybe it can go further than that for the next year. Yeah. It's been pretty good. Now let's see if I can't get the rest of the stars in that red coin star. Man, that was just a nightmare. <laughs>